What did we do? What did we do? All right. So first off, this will be the last episode for the Guild of Brockheart. Uh, as we mentioned in the beginning, but to refresh your memory, we each of us rotate around. We've been doing this for when did we start rotating? Like four years ago. Something like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. So each of us rotate who is the DM, and we each have a different campaign. So we're not all on the same campaign, but yeah. We we all run our own campaign. And it is the end of mine. I have been doing it since the start of the year, just about. Is that right? Yeah, you always do pretty long runs, too. Cause you, was... did, you started yours in, like, summer. Uh, well, I started mine because Toro was playing in the spring. And then we started well, streaming in the summer. I feel like it has to have at least been seven months. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. Before you guys did your stints, I did, a, like, a whole six-month, nine-month thing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I'm passing the torch to Gnome Face, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what's the name of the next one? Barn Tome. The Barn Tome. To uh, Barn Tome. That one is more closely like Pathfinder. But then after I started doing it the way I do it, he... He, he adjusted it, so it's a little different. Um, but it, you'll see some similarities in it. Uh, but yeah, so... You're, you're the judge on how close it is to Pathfinder. Um, but yeah, then we'll be doing that for... However long we do that one. However long he can go. Until he, he runs out of ideas. So... And then Donnie will follow him up. Yeah, I'll be last in order for a DM rotation. So that, that's what I was just saying. Woohoo! Get so, ready yeah. for some At, superheroes. I'm done. Gnome face is barn tome, and Donnie is powerless. Where it's contrary to its name, it's about a group of superheroes. Um, there is a reason for the name. Once upon a time. But now, yeah, uh, basically yeah. about superpowers. We'll be continuing his. So it, they're all going to be similar to how this one started with a recap of sorts. And uh, to, to bring everyone up to speed, because at this point, they've kind of been ironed out and we were kind of used to how they're running. Except for Donnie's, he changes his uh, twice a month. Yeah, um, yeah like, we really revamp a lot. <laughs> I got a lot of ideas up here, you know? I like to express them. So yeah. he gets mad at us because the revamp he did doesn't work the way he thought it would. <laughs> so we're going to go from that. But yeah, they're all pre they're all pre-started. We ironed out some kinks and that. And we're going to go from there. But Okay. Uh, recap time. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Last time, or previously on the Guild of Brockhart, our adventurers successfully uh, chaperoned the convoy to Hammerfell, where they left off the goods and looked around the city to see that it was a, uh, a lot going on. The whole city was pretty much being rebuilt. Stories were added to almost every building. It looks like a... A wall of tower, or a, a circle of towers surrounded by a wall. I'm trying. I'm uh, trying. Oh, I can't move this. So yeah, the, we're. Are you having issues? This is oh, huh, wrong, wrong map. Okay, yeah. So it's going to be a. A, a city of towers surrounded by a wall. From there, they they decide to, co uh, to discuss with their being in their canteen, the old uh, what cult leader you can say, 
And to find out why the city or why the people who actually came back, one came back and two are pooping gold. Uh, after that discussion, they decided to follow the prince's wish and head on off to uh, Yellow Seed because they had they were having an issue that the prince would uh, like them to to fix or help out with. So they make their way there for it pretty safely, no no hiccups and. Uh, they approach the city. It's a really large shipping port, and they stay the night. And we join them in the morning when they wake up in the inn. Oh boy! Wow, it feels like a long sleep. I need to go find Gnome Face and ask him what we are doing again. I've been sleeping so long, I forgot. Uh, Donnie, in search of Gnome Face, you walk out of your room after a couple stretches, and you head on down for breakfast. Yes, I do. Gnome Face? Um, similar. Uh, wake up. Wake up Demi. And head down for some breakfast. Alright. You walk down, and, uh, Donnie is actually sitting down already, waiting for his food to arrive. Uh, the girls are shortly behind you. No, it's Willow, Demi. Gonna see you all again, bright and early in the morning. What were we doing again here in Yellow Seed? Uh, the prince sent us to fix some issues he was having. He was very vague, though. Didn't really give us a. Uh... Solid task just said there was uh, something happening out here. He wanted us to inspect something to <laughs> inspect. Yeah, he's vague, very vague. Here in Yellow Seed. Mm-hmm. I guess we might as well ask about town after this meal because that is quite vague. Uh... I begin. Eating my meal. Unless I recollect anything during my uh, feasting. Uh, Will, Will the chimes up. She's like, uh, maybe we should discuss with like the uh, the leaders because they probably had a... Uh, they probably were the ones who passed word on to uh, Rockheart. That's an excellent idea. Also, explore the, um, the cult aspect... Since uh, the people back in Hammerfall told us that Yellow Seed is part of their whole triumvirate city circplex they're mixed, they're doing. So maybe we separate up and uh, take two routes, see what the cult's doing, and see what uh, the leadership has to say with uh, Prince's task. Wait, is this the same cult that got um, Hammerfell right now? Well, it, you it, guys it, talked at the same time. It's the cult that poops gold now. They got their fingers in yellow seed? Yeah, they've got their fingers in three cities. What's the third one? I can't remember. Huh. Okay. So, Are where should sure we start? Wait. Sure about what? No face, you look like you're thinking. I'm just sitting here. Maybe Why? you should roll a, a recollection check. <laughs> I mean, I can. I can tell you're thinking really hard. <laughs> so yeah, you remember that uh, the cult wasn't in all three cities. The the leader was like kind of going around. He was kind of like a wandering traveler. That was trying to help everyone, and it it wasn't just specific to these three in the triad, but these three in the triad are t are yeah, I'm sure it's no better. um being the ruling power yeah. amongst the kingdom that was Ashborn. Oh wait, never mind. Here it is. Yeah, well, so, what was the third city? Because that's what we just said. No face. Uh, you didn't hear that. That was in his head. 
Well, in my head, what about the third city? That's the uh, as Donnie associates them with the bandits or the highwaymen. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember now. Gotcha. That was the third city. Well, that was the second city you found out about, or the first city you found out about. Then you found out Hammerfell was joining them, and then Yellow Seed was the last one that was mentioned to you. Yellow Seed is apparently the size of Brock. I explained to Donnie. It's just zoomed in. About the, um, sorry, I'm eating. I know it's probably rude to eat on camera, but I'm hungry. I'm not watching you eat. Um, I explained to Donnie about the uh, the other city that was created from the Asheville refugees, and that that's the the third city. Wow, these uh these these cultists got their uh their fingers in deep to pull a city like Yellow Seed and make it almost bigger. I would Correction. say than Brian. Correction. It wasn't founded by the Ashburn refugees. It was already, it was a city that was already established that was growing, and the, I mean, the refugees. You don't know where they each went, but the, the, the it was, Ashburn is the kingdom. I, I don't make certain plot points critical, but like that one's specific. Okay. Seems like. Pulling up cities that would otherwise fly under the radar and bring them up to the level of Brockhart. I speculate kind of that it probably has something to do with that that guy who's sick the hellhounds on us. And oh. then trying to create his own kingdom, it seems like. And I imagine pretty soon he's probably going to... This is all speculation, I clarify, but I imagine he's probably going to be targeting Brockhart in the not-too-distant future, using these three cities <clears throat> to kind of create a war. Um, Holy shit. And he may have something to do with the cult as well. It seems like something he would do, some sort of shadow network that destabilizes and kind of creates strife that's insane you thought about this way harder than i did i didn't even draw a correlation but i can totally see it now that's crazy that's why your nickname is the big doofus this the things that come up in your head (laughs) i'm like oh you're so smart the dm's like god you're fucking crazy (laughs) Tim Imagine he's has the one with our, the... our fearless DM gets half his ideas out of <laughs> the things I speculate in my head. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, you're so smart, Dan's like, put on a tinfoil hat while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so you guys finish your breakfast. Where do you guys wish to go? Um. Well, I guess we're supposed to go to the town leaders, town hall, and ask if they had any dealings with the Prince of Brockhart. Um, Maybe they were expecting a band before, of adventures. Before the two runs thing. off and causes another problem. Where's the key for this city? It's got a bunch of numbers, but I don't see a key. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We'll just start making one as we go. Okay, cool. Um... Well, I think, like I, like I was saying, I think we should split up. We should have somebody go explore, like, the town centers. Like, we got a town, it looks like a town center here, and maybe a town center over here. Talk to the common folk, see if there's any hints on this gold-pooping cult out this way. You're more interested in the cult. I kind of just want to know what the prince wanted us to do. Well, and then on top of that, we should send another group to the nobility or the leadership, which I imagine is either here or here, and um, find out why the prince sent us here. And then, say, midday, a little after midday, meet up back here 
and discuss our findings. Okay. I'm going to uh, head to the center, the town center. Anybody's free to join me if they want. I'm just going to ask directly if they're expecting any adventures from the prince. So you're looking for the leadership? Yep. Okay. Then I will go. I'll start here and then meander my way here and start looking in the common folks and uh, stopping at some shops and some marketplaces and see if I can find out some rumors. Excellent. Willow, do you care to join me? Or do you have different pursuits in the city? If you're going to go talk to royalty, I better join you. We we know what can happen. She hey, kind of chuckles her. and laughs. and She's like, am I right, no face? I, yeah, I said thank you. Thank you for volunteering to keep him in line. Yep, with their silver tongues, sometimes they just don't have, you know, at home schooling to understand my tongue. <laughs> they just don't get it. They just don't get it. All yeah, right, let's make our ways. So who wants to go first? I'm fine with go first because I'm eating still. Okay, I was about to say I'm fine with going first. Uh, if there are no interruptions, I'm going to make my way as close to that place as possible. Uh, oh, just... mm -hmm. Go back. Okay. I'm making you move it this time, so I don't have to. All right. So you want you you want to go here? Yep. Uh, uh, you can make it here first. Ah, the Great Divider. What do I see as I approach this location? Uh, you see that it looks like a canal of sorts, or like it, it looks like a place that boats go in and out. They uh. But it looks like uh, it, it blocks the rushing water from flowing too fast. No, oh, I was expecting a drawbridge of sorts. I mean, the, 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 there's a pathway above it, yeah. But um, it, it's still keeping like the water level high and stuff. I is there a guard or a, you know some sort of staff member available who's banning the station? Uh. Sure. There's, there's like a little house nearby. I approach it. Hello, good sir. I'm looking to cross. He goes, uh, if, if you see all the other people, that they're, they're walking across the bridge that's above this. Sorry, I, I didn't specify. There's a bridge that's going over this canal thing. There is a bridge there. It's just oh, it's not a drawbridge. There is a bridge there. I thought... Okay. I took that the wrong way. I thought you meant to say the path was not open. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a path across. You get your water. Okay, well, I. there's nothing obstructing my path. Going up it I'll over say, uh, is the town hall there on that island over there? And I point, since it's across the waters. Uh, he goes, over there? No. That's the, uh, you go feel it. That's the you know sacred statue. Sacred statue? Yes. It, well, it, it, it's the statue of the god Apollo. I think that's right. Uh, no. It's the guy who carries the sun across in his chariot with his chariot? It's like, no, 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 no. Um, insert name here. He goes, no, it's, it's the one that looks over the seas. To make sure that all the travelers headed out to sea can make it back safely. Neptune? Poseidon. Poseidon, maybe? Well, Neptune is... Uh, Roman. Uh, Neptune is Roman. the Roman version of Poseidon. Yeah, it might be Poseidon. Yeah, but anyways, Poseidon. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to just rip off Greek mythology, but might as well. Yeah, that's the statue of Poseidon. At least Greek mythology isn't um, copyrighted. Yeah, <laughs> can't anybody us. can use it. It's public domain. Yeah, so uh, you like, could make a character called Thor swinging around a hammer, and Marvel and Disney could not say shit <laughs> until you mention Marvel and Disney. 
right, hey, anyways. just edit that out. <laughs> I'll just put it on repeat like a rap. <laughs> Anywho, the uh, yeah, that's so it's it's like it's a uh, I, I'm blanking on the word. It's like an altar statue and stuff over there, so that people leaving down the river can try. Maybe no, not what I'm thinking of. Anyways, they're, they're leaving, uh, and they can, they looked upon by the statue and can are granted a uh, are blessed. Gain blessings from the statue of uh, Poseidon. Okay, I didn't know he was so uh, well giving. Either way. I was hoping to find wherever the leaders of the city reside. Oh, sorry. Thought... He continues on to say if it's the the leaders are over in the town hall, which is down around the corner. Down around the corner? Here. Oh, down around around the corner. Okay. Yeah, that is like a big. He's building. like, okay, you go, you take a right, then you go straight to the right ish. Yeah, you're over there. Yeah, I see it from here. God, that place is big. I'm like, well, yeah, it's. I mean, have you seen the side of this of the city? You guys are doing well for yourselves. That's true. Uh, I mean, shipping does a uh, large amount of business. I'm curious. Was the city always so prosperous? Uh, not. He goes. I I wouldn't know the best about this. Um, it, it's definitely increased a lot in the last couple of years. Yeah, this is my first time here. I wasn't expecting to be. I think it's almost bigger than Brockhart, honestly. Yes. Wait, Brockhart. I don't think yeah. we reached that. We at least don't have the... Uh, we may have more money coming in and out, but like we don't have the wealth that Brockhart has. True. Size doesn't necessarily mean pr prosperity, but I flex. Size he, is he a concept. when you say that, and he's looking at you. Size, this is a concept I take to heart. He's like, yeah, I, I can tell as he looks at you and sees two giant swords on you a huge axe where do you keep all this stuff by the way i'm big there's plenty of places to put it on his back <laughs> it's quite the storage shelf so yeah okay thank you kind what uh bridge keeper hey. for the instruction sure that's one of the nicer words I've been called today. Are, are people typically rude to you? I, I, he goes, well, I mean, a lot of people don't prefer to, you know, deal with guards on bridges, you know. Whole, like, troll thing kind of got out of hand. Well, I'm sure you have a task force ready and available to respond to any trolls that crop up. Yeah, well, that's nice of you to say. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to cross this bridge without worrying about any trolls because the city's doing so well for itself. And I'm going to make my way to uh, the town hall to meet the leaders of the city. Oh, is there anything I should know about them? Uh, they're, some, they're, they're busy they're folks, busy. so make sure you kind of have a point to... What you're gonna be saying to them? I hope the point that I have to make is good enough for their immediate attention. It's a vague one. Anyways, like, I'll be off with that one. I, I feel like I should tip you. You did me quite a service today. Oh no 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 no! Please don't. Just just have a merry day. That's all I wish. That's what I like to hear. I'll be on my way. Thank you, good sir. Anything to save a buck, right? 
<laughs> I thank him and make my way to the town hall where the leadership is. You do that. You make it there. And the thing is a pretty good size. Yeah. You're kind of surprised. But then again, you're not. Big. I mean, it was big from across the waters, but now, like, it's big. This is, like, pretty much a castle. It's like a little keep right here. Die. Did you just say die? Yes, I did. All right. Yeah, so you make your way there. Why? This is being stupid. Make it stop. I feel like there's a piece of this picture we're not getting here, Dan. Yeah, there's a big piece we're not getting. That's fine. All right, well, that's stupid. Uh, okay, sorry. I'm just trying to draw stuff and be... So you make your way to the the entrance. I mean, the gate's open because it's working hours. Well, since everything's so open, I'll just walk right in until I'm stopped or I find, you know, a service desk to ask for instructions. Uh, I mean, That's they, as you walk closer, someone goes, you see like a table in there with a secretary. They're like, how may I help you? Hey, I'm looking for whoever runs this city. I'm not uh, sure if it's a mayor, sheriff. The board? The board. That will do. Yeah. Uh, you ex Are they expecting you? Uh, I feel like they might be. My instructions were not the most clear. I was sent by the Prince of Brockhart. To aid in the affairs of this city. And I feel like they would have an interest in that. Because, um, I mean, I. That's over my head. I don't know too much of their meetings. I just point you in the right direction. But, anyways, if you keep going, go around me, keep going, don't go up the stairs. Uh, the. The people who are in charge of scheduling uh, the meetings are back there. So talk to them and they can put you on the calendars. Uh, okay, I see how it is. We're going to be have to put on a waiting list. Uh, All possibly. right. I cannot confirm or deny that. Well, let's make our way to the back rooms and see uh, what sort of reception awaits us. Hey, Willow. She goes, ah, yes. But can we admire the look inside of here first? I stop and I look around. Uh, sure, Willow. Do do we see anything that looks? Is the architecture noteworthy? Is it different? Um, what happened to the map? What are you talking about? If you look at roll twenty, the map, like. Why is mine gone, but yours is this? What the balls? I'm resetting. Yeah, reset. My map's fine. Okay, it's back. I'm it's good. A magic trick. I I stopped to admire the place as well as suggested. Do I it's see a, anything? Happening? I mean, ah, uh, what's your wisdom? Not high. Um, it's. One plus one. Real wisdom. Wisdom to know about like art and wisdom. architecture and stuff like that. The fifteen. Can you recognize that like the the place is laid out and it like you have a giant lower floor with a whole bunch of like offices around. You have two stairs going up, and everything actually like looks good like it flows it's nice and clean uh like the, the the colors aren't weird like it just it looks very pleasing and satisfying good feng shui in here willow you notice anything uh a little bit deeper 
I don't really know the history of any of this art here. Oh, she, oh no no no. Um Ah, uh, it just this place is a it's a really nice for like a town hall. Like they must really the citizens either pay a lot of taxes or they they they're very happy and they uh make improvements to this place quite a bit. Or they just have a very good interior design artist. I mean, those cost money, so that unless they did it to celebrate the city. Yeah, it's quite this place is doing quite well for itself. Anyways, make our way to the reception room. Always about business with you, Donnie. Never can stop and smell the roses. She chuckles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I really am kind of a blunt fellow in that regard. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you get to the door. And I mean, the door is open just like pretty much every other door. It's very open in here. Uh, and yeah, you, you walk in and there's another person working at a desk in front of you. There's oh, hello, sir and ma'am. How may I help you two? Oh, I don't know if you were expecting any visitors from Brockhart. High profile ones at that. Uh, the Guild of Brockhart. She, she, Is that she... what you're she she gives you a second look when you say a uh, high priority or high important people, high priority, and she kind of chuckles. She's like, "Oh yes, uh, the Prince of Brockhart sent you. Um, is that correct?" That is absolutely correct. Excuse me. Maybe. Never. Too bad. Uh, so sad. She's like, "Okay, well, I will chime in. Um, I believe that there's a the." You know, part of the board are in their office. Uh, they should be able to meet with you. If you have a seat outside, uh, someone will come down and uh, get you guys, and you can go in and uh, chat with them. Excellent. This is the reception I expected. See? Uh, We're being... Yes, sir. Um, Ma'am, if you can uh, just look over him. She's like, yep, we'll do. Will is like, yes, of course, we'll do. I, I just don't want him to get his hopes up and let down. Hopes up? What do you mean? We're about to meet the town board, city board, the leadership, the people who run this entire city. The, the secretary chuckles. She's like, all right, sir. Uh, yes, they, they, they'll they be with you uh, as soon as they can get together. As soon as possible. I knew it. <laughs> See, we're going to get down to brass tacks as soon as possible. We're quite important. Because I knew we were. All right. Don't face you up. Okay. Um, I want to start off going here. This looks like a, a centralized fountain area. Maybe there's some businesses around here. All right. You walk there, and yes, you see a bunch of businesses around, a nice little uh, park, and uh, the besides the way that you came in, two pathways out, or roads out. I, uh, I kind of go to the park, and I look around, and go to like the first person I see, and I go, hi, I'm... <laughs> Sorry. Hi, I'm new to Yellow Seed, and I'm just wondering what town gossip is like, and if there's anybody who needs help or any way to make good money around town. Uh, all right, one person. So you stop the per first person. Uh, they're like, uh, you're like, hey, hello, blah, blah. And they're like, oh, hi, ha. Huh? And you guys have a discussion. And they're like, um, I mean, yeah, if you ask any shop, everyone's looking for work, pretty much. Uh, everyone's doing stuff, but I actually have to go. Um, I'm sorry I can't chat with you, but yeah, I, I got to go on. Uh, girl, just, just one more quick question. Where's the best place around town to find out information like that instead of having to go to each individual shop? She goes, uh, I don't know. Check your local bar or check the bar around here. One of them will have information. They normally do. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry for taking up your time. 
Dang it. No problem. Uh, I'll talk to you later. So, uh, that's kind of a bust, and I really don't want to go to a bar right away in the morning. So, I, um, I venture, I look at the shops, and I've got Demi with me, so I look at, is there, like, a jewelry shop? I'll call number 31 a jewelry shop. Number 31, okay, so we kind of venture down, we go to number 31, I enter into the jewelry shop. I take Demi with me. I start looking at the goods, uh, waiting for the person at the counter to ask me if I need any assistance, basically. Uh, I mean, you go in and someone... I mean, they, they say to you right away, like, hey, we'll be with you in just a second. I go, oh, take your time, take your time. We're going to look around for a minute. Uh, I have a few quick questions for you when you're ready. Okay, all right. Uh, then I'll send someone after some time, someone approaches you like, hey, have you been helped yet? Oh, uh, no, uh, we've just been looking around at your quality items. Um, we were, we're new to town. Hmm. Oh, again, sorry. Um, we're new to town. And, uh, looking in local shops and trying to find out the feel of the town is... So, can you guys tell me about your shop? Oh, yes. We uh we sell lots of jewels. We purchase uh we have a shipment coming in uh from well, it's going to be changing, but yeah, we 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 get shipments of all sorts of jewels that are traded around and uh we can have them attached to like charms, rings, necklaces are you looking for a ring for the lovely lady oh no not quite yet uh when i get her a ring i want it to be something personal but i wouldn't mind looking into a necklace what do you have for necklaces any sort of charms or enchantments or is it all just pretty jewelry oh no we don't deal with any fancy stuff like that we we just to provide you with the elegance that you need or want. Oh. Understand, I understand. Well, um trying to think of how to word this question. Have you heard any um interesting rumors around town? Um maybe if the rumors are interesting enough, I may pick up one of these gold chain necklaces for my lovely lady here. Or maybe I will simply go shop another jeweler. I say, kind of like, non-committal. Hmm, he goes, uh... He goes, oh, I got one. So word on the street is, the only reason why Hammerfell is in close contact with the city... Is because they came into a lot of money recently. I kind of, I, I nod with um with the attendant. And I go yes yes. I passed through Hammerfell on my way here. They are, they are indeed coming to a great windfall. Um, have you heard how they've come to their windfall, or is there anybody related to Hammerfell's new turn of events in town? Yeah. Ah. Uh... He he goes. I I don't believe so. I'll um. But yeah, I heard uh the 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 craziest thing. I heard that some people are uh, excrementing gold. I say I I I chuckle and I go. You they claimed that when we were passing through, and I kind of start to wander towards the door uh basically saying i already knew this information but then i see uh a, like a chain with a gem in it and i stop and i go hmm i might be interested in this one but i don't know kind of seeing if i can get anything else out of the guy before i commit yes, uh, uh oh um um Oh, 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 I got one last thing. One last thing. By the way, that is a 
stunning necklace. She, it would look perfect on her. I, I thought so too. I thought so too. I'm I'm not quite persuaded yet though. I I heard that uh the the leader of the rebellion in Ashborn because that was pretty recently. I heard he ran into the mountains. Well, he disappeared into the mountains, I should say. And he's saying this all like hush hush. The mountains, you say? I I point. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? I, I point at the uh. A, a silver necklace that looks much cheaper. <laughs> and I go, hmm, I'll take that one. <laughs> he, he looks... That one? That one doesn't even have a gem on it. Oh, I know, but my dearest here, she's not really into the gems and the bling. She's more of a purist. I, I kind of smile at her and hope she goes along with me. He goes, all right, that'll, that'll be a... Uh... There'll be 1,200 floyds. I go, oh, gladly, gladly. And I pay out the 1,200 floyds. He goes, excellent. Uh, let me get you a receipt. If mm -hmm. uh, anything happens to this, uh, like, normal wear and tear, or it br breaks, like... She's supposed to, yeah. Anything, no, like... If it breaks from someone slashing it apart, that we don't cover that, but it does come with a little bit of warranty for the first year. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. I slipped the receipt in my pocket. Um, and yeah, he uh, hands you the necklace. I uh, asked Demi to bend over, and I uh, clip the necklace onto her neck. She, she's like, she goes, I, well, I, I, mean, I, I can just lean forward. I don't have to. Bend over, that's... I'm stopping. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be perverted, but okay. Oh, I mean... I, yeah, well, my bad. You are, like, three foot, so she exactly. doesn't actually have to bend over for you. Exactly, I'm a gnome, man. I uh, forget what I just said. Okay, go back. She, she, she leans forward so that you can put the necklace on. I, I do so. And then I go, thank you for the kind information and the beautiful necklace. I will make sure to recommend you to my friend as he travels around town. I say as I uh, leave the building. He goes, oh, oh, excellent to hear. Um, I wish you the best. And I hope to see you again. For good terms, of course. Of course. Uh, I'm going to... Make my way to the other side now. Trying to go here. You need to grab a soda or something, man. I don't have any caffeine, man. Oh. I'm actually not that tired. I really don't know why I'm yawning so much. He meant soda for the sugar rush, not the caffeine. Uh, Alright, I you, you going to keep going or am I going back to Donnie? Yeah, if you want me to, I'm fine with keeping going. Like I said, I want to go over here. Oh. All right. I was stopping at the bridge. You do so. Okay. Uh, I look around this town center, and I notice there's quite a few, at least what look like semi-important buildings over here and over here. So I start to look around. Okay. Look around for what? Again, I'm looking around for common folk. Um, anybody who may or may not have some info for me. Um, also looking for, because I am who I am, any sort of magic stores. Uh, okay, so it's like midday by this point. Because, I mean, it's, it takes some time. Uh, yeah, you, you see the place is packed. There's food carts food there. Food. Everyone's walking in and out of stores you know kind of like a lot of people running errands on their lunch break type of thing yeah but yeah the, the place is packed okay well i um i go to a food cart um 
and I get the local street food. One for me and one for Demi. The fish How much tacos. is that going to me? Ah, uh, 10 Floyds. Yeah. Sorry, give me just a second. Okay, uh, and then I um, I go by the fountain with Demi, and I sit next to, like, uh, uh, I want to sit by, but not, like, right next to, kind of casually next to, like, a group of people. Yep. And me and Demi start eating. And while me and Demi are eating, I mentioned that rumor I heard about uh, the guy going into the mountains to Demi, kind of in passing, like, oh, did you hear about this rumor? And... You know, I'm really curious. What's up with this guy? And I'm basically seeing if any of the the people who are also sitting there eating lunch or doing anything, if they chime in like, you know, some people do. Gossips, rumor mills, all that jazz. Yep. Yeah, um, you, you do that. But yeah, no one, no one responds. Shite. Um... Uh, so as I'm as we're talking and eating, I bring up, you know, how Hammerfell's recently come into, you know, some money, and that the, apparently it has something to do with this strange cult-like ritual, and uh, half jokingly say, "Well, I wish I knew where I could find somebody that would let me poop gold. That'd be awesome." And again, kind of sit there and wait and see if I hear anybody chime in. Uh, one of the people walking by that kind of like looks at you, but no, you they don't stop to talk to you. Hmm. All my clever plots. Um, okay, well, we finish our food. And then, like I said, I kind of look for a magic store. I'll say number nine. Sparks is a magic store to you. Cool. Um, I looked at Demi and I go, I'm going to go into the magic store. Uh, you're welcome to come with me or, you know, look for anything you wish, my dear. Um, meet me back out here in 20 minutes by the fountain. And uh, if she says yes, I head my way to the magic store. She agrees and you head to your way inside the magic store. Do, 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 I'm looking spe specifically for, yes, but, yes, tonight is mommy's turn to do your bath. Um, I want to work more on my ability to enchant my weapon in combat. Um, did you eat all your chicken? Eat all of your chicken, please. As well as my, um, my proper enchantment. There he goes. Uh, my proper enchanting. So uh, I, I have the basics down. So I'm looking for more m middle tier books to help with my my temporary enchantments and my permanent enchantments. Uh, okay. Roll just for fun. Okay. Perception. You said perception is now wisdom, correct? Yep. The way it should be. Eleven. No, you don't see it. Why? Dick cheese. Uh, okay. You recognize that most of the items in here are like magic items used for casting. Not really books to teach you how to Learn new spells. Okay. I vacate. Around this time, it should be getting close to time to meet up with Donnie Danger. So I meet up with Demi and we start making our way back to the hotel. Or the inn that we were at. Alright. Back to me, right? Yeah. So. I Actually, I, I'm waiting for them. I kind of just want to look around the... uh. 
at some of the art again. Will suggested earlier. I didn't really take it all in. Is there more? Are there more Roman gods? Not inside the We're building. Doing Roman or Greek? Yeah, yeah, Greek gods. Any more Greek gods on any of the uh, art tapestries or anything like that? Oh, uh, no. Uh, well, actually, uh, Hermes is, but not any of like the main gods. Um, Quite curious that this uh, city would take after real world mythologies instead of uh, some more invented ones. Is that a rip at our DM? No. I mean, it wasn't <laughs> I was, intended as one. I was just trying to remember, like, wait, which one of you two were the, was the person who, like, no, this is my life now versus the one who's like, oh, no, yeah, this is, okay. I'm the, it's my life now. Yeah. I'm, I'm still going to draw that line. Like, this is, you know, hey, I got to call it where I see it. Like, this is not, this is real world stuff. Yeah, so yeah, you see you see a lot of pictures. They they're very all over the place. Um you get plenty of time to look at them. You see Hermes on one of them, the messenger of the gods. Uh but yeah, so in total you end up waiting like two hours, two and a half hours. And then All uh, I see What? All I see is Hermes in that two and a half hours. No, I, I said you see all the other pictures and that. You you literally walk in circles around this whole place if oh, okay. you so choose. But yeah, you, you literally see all of them. And, but that's the only one that's referencing like a god of sorts. Yeah, I take a 20 or two hours. Oh, random question, but did you guys know Hermes was also the god of thieves and the god of I travelers? Knew, I knew he was the god of traveling, not and thieves. thieves. Yep. Yeah. I I just knew he was Messenger of the Gods. I mean, that's not surprising, but, like, that's also kind of, kind of surprising. <laughs> Is that right mythos. away or later? Yeah, man, I love mythos. Um, but, yeah, so, you... A, anyways, what I'm trying to say is you're waiting for two and a half hours. Okay. So, you can well, fill in that time with however way you want to. I ask Will, like, hey, during your adventures before joining us, how many correlations between real world uh, inspirations and uh, this game have you seen? Oh, plenty. Plenty. Yeah. We talk like I mean, Egyptian or something, or oh no, just like lots of the buildings are modeled of like more ancient time but some like modern time like all the buildings kind of look like real world like the, the whole landscape in that sure some of it's different but like it, it it's pretty uh most of the stuff in here is probably based off of real places just I guess like they, they cut and paste different sections and to make their new cities I guess if somebody's trying to trying to create an entire digital world, they can't do everything from scratch. Why would they when they can just like take oh, models yeah. of the real world and copy and pop, paste them and move them around as much as they want and they can create new ones? That makes some sense. So I wonder how much uh sway or importance I wonder how much relevance these gods have in this world. Uh I don't know. I, I I mean, we know that uh, this, apparently that statue of Poseidon is there to uh, wish travelers a good voyage. Oh, well, well let me uh, try and clarify my query. Willow, it's a philosophical kind of thing. If they have Greek gods, they have a Hades, perhaps they also have an Anubis. You know, how and many underworlds could there be? It is an entire world we're talking about. They have to have multiple pantheons in order to, you know, cover the entire populace. Unless the entire world is Greek. So, yeah, uh, you, you're over my head. But who's to say that it's all the same? 
Like, they could have just taken names and some references and just completely tie them to a different backstory. Yeah, that's true. I wonder where uh, players go when they die. Do they go to the fields of Elysium? You know, heaven? Do they go to Asgard? I kind of wonder how many deities there are. Get undigitized? That's probably the most likely one. I do, please. I'm just letting my mind run wild here. It's not often I'm reminded of the real world. Honestly, it's kind of weird seeing references to things I'm familiar with here. As you're making that collection, someone walks up and is like, uh, Dying Danger and Will? Ah, uh, yes, right here. Ready for adventure. Uh, you may come in now. I go in. Uh, yeah, you guys head on into uh, the like kind of meeting room, and there's three people inside there uh, waiting for you guys. Just three. I look at them. How important do they look? <laughs> I say, Very, I, don't, I don't do that. I say, uh, hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Donnie Danger from Brockhart and the Guild of Brockhart. You, I don't believe I've uh, met I any of you. Uh, and Willow introduces herself. They go, uh, uh, why, hello. They, uh, one person speaks up, and they kind of, like, trade off. But, yeah, they, uh, they respond, like, oh, hello, hello. Great to meet you guys. Um, the, we're expecting someone to come uh the prince responded saying that uh he would he would send people our way to help out help out uh yes uh we're part of the board that run this shipping city there's actually a total of seven of us but we're the only three working today we weren't really sure when you guys were going to show up others we'd have all seven but it's also not that critical like it's not life. Man, back in the it's important or, oh. what we need you to do if you can help. And tell me to put it back in the freezer. That's or what we're here for. Mm -hmm. it was, oh, please, please have a seat, and we can discuss about what's going on. I pull myself a seat. I see. I'm all ears. And Willow does likewise. <laughs> ah, yeah. So. I was yeah, statement. Um oh. <laughs> so they they go. So the issue we are having is the seas that are to our south are not as friendly as they once were. Uh we used to people or companies, voyagers used to be able to come and go. But lately, there's a uh, there's something out there, someone, some who, we're not really sure, but there's people out there causing problems. So like we we we're not getting as much uh, traffic because a lot of ships are not able to come into port. It's causing delayed uh shipping lanes and stuff so we can all we we don't know all the details you'd have to talk to port authority about that but um the, that's the basics well what we'll need you to do like if you're willing to do so is go out and investigate and help on out help the port authority solve the situation of course. We'll speak to the Port Authority and find more information. Is the security of the Southern Seas the only reason uh, we are uh, addressed here by the Prince? Some person goes, only reason? Um, I'm pretty sure it's a pretty big reason. I'm sure it is as well. So I was like, just that's clarify. literally where all like the, the, the travel lanes or the shipping lanes go north towards the mountains and south to the sea so like literally everything that comes in it, it's going to the south and then after some time 
branching off, but yeah, it's got to go south first. Rest assured, we will seek the Port Authority and find more information, though. No, you're in good hands. We're quite an esteemed and well-established guild in Brockhart. And we have fought a giant water elemental, something that lives beneath the waves shouldn't be. Too much of a hassle for us. Be it pirates or beasts. Should they, uh, someone chimes up. Well, well, we like your confidence, but uh, yes, please uh, discuss with the uh, Port Authority and they can fill you in on the details. Uh, yes, you're in good hands, Town Council. All right. There's nothing further ado. No more to say. Me and Willow will make our way to the Port Authority. Uh, we do need directions, though. <laughs> the one person chimes up. Oh, I mean, the way you're talking, it sounded like you knew exactly where you're going. Um, and they they all kind of laugh. It's, hey, we will will a chi will it chimes up before you can say anything. She's like, yeah. Um, I was gonna say something, but you know, he goes on his uh spiels and montages that I kind of just let him go, and I was kind of I was gonna wait back and. Ask you guys where to go, because uh, he would have left and just started asking every single person he sees on the street. Hey, Will, I could have done without that slice of humble pie there. <laughs> she laughs like, well, then why'd you bring me? <laughs> and Fair they point. all laugh. Uh, but yeah, they tell you that it's number 21. 21, Port Authority. All right. Well, thank you, good town council. We'll make our way there and address the problem as promptly as we can. That sounds wonderful. Thank you for your help. Um, please uh, stop by us before you leave town. Or before you, when, you, when you're done with the Port Authority. Before we set sail or as soon as we know what we're doing. <laughs> well, Either way. When we'll, it's, when it's we'll all completed. Oh, it's all completed. Yes. When the deed is done. Okay, so, okay. After action report. Yes. All right, we'll come back here once the problem is dealt with. Excellent to hear. Thank you very much once again. Yes. Of course. Gilda Brockhart, remember our name. Uh, yes, I'm sure we won't forget it. If you finish, if you if you solve this problem for us, we won't forget it. Excellent, Willow. Let us make our way to the Port Authority. Uh, she says, "All right, after you." I head straight there if there is no interruption. No. Cool. Hello, everyone. Bork here. We are going to join our party in the next episode. Gonna have to break this into a part one and part two. It just got a little too long for the recordings that we like to do. Um, was looking at uh, trying to cut it down, but it's just gonna be two one hour episodes versus uh, two, two and a half hour long. So join us next week for the part two of the finale episode.